guys welcome back to the hopefully last part of the building series so well not the series but the building um tower series like we're working on the tower so i wanted to do a little bit of things with the actual stairs and slabs there's something that i discovered a while ago a long time ago but uh it's called uv lock and it's for the block uh block states now every model uh, or block that you have has a, a block state it's just a matter of uh, basically locking the actual thing now if you scroll down you can see that down here it basically says UV uh, lock and then it's uh, set to true now what this will do is it'll keep the textures from going like this and it will make it so it's like that so it works with the vanilla textures and stuff like that we can probably change the ones in uh, Amp Crater if we basically go ahead and lock the actual model. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I've already locked those ones. I'm just locking these uh, ones here. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our workspace uh, folder. And I've already got that one up. I've gotten and navigated to the source. Um, I believe it's main resources assets tower like our namespace and then it's the block states and these are the block states that we have for the thing now we're most interested with the ones with the h in front of it so what i want to do is i want to open up uh, each one of these i've already started working on this one so basically what we need to do is add this line of code right here and it will basically lock or lock the uv for the uh, stairs and stuff so we'll do that for all of the models I'll just paste this in uh, quickly after these ones so the y-axis and then we'll save that and we'll do this for all of them so I'll just quickly open all these with the notepad plus plus and then I'll just paste all these in and hopefully it will run fine I haven't tried this before so it's a little bit new but it should hopefully work with um, the UV uh, placement for the actual textures and stuff because with our custom stairs and stuff like that it's a little bit um, off uh, it, like it rotates and stuff so I don't want that to actually happen it doesn't look as good so if we go ahead and do this it should prevent that from happening so hopefully that will work. So they should all be set up now. I'm just gonna go through them and make sure that they're all properly linked. Yep, looks like it. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. And that's all set up. Um, just, did I select these two? I'm just quickly, whoop, nope, I don't want that. Open that up and yeah, so those should all be set up. All right, so that's good. Uh, let's just run the workspace to make sure that it's actually generating properly. And I think the next thing that we need to do today is basically go ahead and make the structure and stuff, but I wanna make sure that the UV lock thing works um, as intended before I go ahead and do anything else. But uh, we can just quickly go into the game and test that. It should render just fine. Uh, if there's a JSON formatting issue, then it will probably become untextured or something, but it should be fine. So we'll just start up that. I think it's this one right here that we're working on. And 100%, perfect. All right, so let's just quickly take a look at this and we'll see if it's properly. Actually, yeah, it does look like it worked. Maybe, I don't know. Let me quickly take a look at this. Looks like it might have worked. That looks like it should be proper. It does look a lot cleaner, doesn't it? Okay, let's just quickly test some stuff out. Uh, and one of the things that was most noticeable was in here with the pillars. Looks like... Um, yeah, I would say they kind of are set up properly. Because it used to kind of like have a tiled 
feel to it. Now, it still has a little bit of a tiled feel, but um, I think that's mostly down to... I don't know what it's down to. Might be down to the, the way that I have the model or the way that it's textured. Not sure. That piece, I think, might... How does that supposed to rotate? Cause that's like that. I guess that's just the way that it is, but it still looks cleaner, so that's good. Uh, cleaner than before. It's actually looks like it's actually mirroring the image, so that's fine. All right, so I did. It, it looks like it's successful, and it looks a lot cleaner on the outside as well. So that's good. All right, so now that we got that all settled, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I believe last episode, what we did was we textured all these, or decorated all these floors and stuff so that's good um all we need to do is we need to create this structure and yeah so we have that 30 32 by 32 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and create a give myself a structure block so slash give whoop, give structure whoop, at structure Lock and then we need to find the axis point which is over there and then we will place this down right there and then we'll go ahead and go to data save and then we want to set this to 1 1 and 32 32 and 32 that should be our lower section. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we have our upper section to do. So what we'll have to do is go ahead and build up to that part there. So I'm just gonna grab the cobblestone stairs and we'll just build up to here and then what we'll do is we'll just clone this slash clone and we'll copy the coordinates this should keep the size as well so we'll clone that to this block right here clone that Oop. Uh, actually we want the same coordinates so 6 3 negative 17 and then we want to paste our coordinates in for this block and then we're going to go replace and force and that should be the same thing now let's just double check to make sure our height is all set up properly looks like we won't have any issues with the height so that will be fine and just need to make sure that I think the bottom will load in first, so that's perfect, and then the top will load in. So all we need to do after this is basically create um, something to spawn in the structure. So um, we can do this through generation, like after the structure generates, it should be fine that way. Uh, the only concern that I have is that the um, thing is 32 by 32, so some of it might get cut off unless we l load the chunks in. So we'll have to do that. Um, I'll have to put in the uh, chunk manager again. I was uh, testing some stuff on this latest snap snapshot and it wasn't updated yet, so I had to remove it. Okay, so let's just save this as tower bottom and then we'll save that and then we'll set this as our tower top. Tower top and we'll save that all right so that part's done and we shouldn't delete this fought or this world so we can make sure that we can copy it over so we'll just close out of that go to resources structures models and then we need to import our bottom one and we need to import our top one now I'm gonna have to restart M creator and navigate I think where is it 
desktop did I throw all the yeah chunk manager so we're gonna need that one here and I'm just gonna load up the um, chunk manager for this uh, version so 20 21.3 and we want to go to preferences plugins wherever that is manage plugins and then what we're going to do is we're going to load plugin and then we're just going to select the chunk manager and it should come up down here perfect save and then we'll go back into our workspace all right so now that we have chunk manager installed uh, we can go ahead and uh, start working on the structure so what we need to do is actually create the bottom structure for generation so what we're going to do is we're just going to make a structure and then what we're going to call it is um, tower uh, bottom and we'll create new structure uh, we don't need to worry about the generation condition I'm not too worried about that at the moment uh, what I do want to do is I want to make sure that our bottom is spawned and that um, it's roughly in the ground when it does generate so we're just going to leave it at that we want it in the surface uh, we might want a flat biome for it to actually generate in so we might want to select uh, planes for the generation type so I'll just find planes and then what we can do is increase the probability to something like 25,000 just so it's a little bit more common and then what we'll do is for the instant unstructured instance generated, what we're going to do is we're going to basically go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? I think what we need is additional generation condition. And this will basically run before the structure is generated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tab for I think there's one for block manager or chunk manager. I'm not seeing it actually show up in this list. Chunk manager. Hmm. That is really interesting. Okay, let me just try um, loading in that manually. I'll close out of that and then we need to go to uh, I believe it's C users and then it's the dot minecraft plugins well it's in there okay I'll just replace it and we'll see if that whoop, I'll replace it and we'll see if that helps because there should be a folder for it Okay, we'll try this again. So let's um, start up this. I will go and generate our structure again. So structure tower bottom, and then we'll go ahead and try to see if this uh, shows up now. Okay, there's definitely chunk manager here. So I'm not sure why the other one didn't work. That's interesting. Okay, so we're gonna need to create a local variable. Uh, for chunk and then we're just going to call it chunk and then what we can do is we can go ahead and get chunk set variable and then we want to basically go ahead and get the beginning and the end of the chunk so actually I don't even think we need to really do that uh, let's see we want to get the the starting chunk for the that location of the thing and then what we're going to do is we want to force load it and then what I'm going to do is actually increase this uh, for the X and so 
So we want to increase that by 16, and then we want to go ahead and increase that by 16 for C. And then we want to do that for just Z. So, and then we have to force load all those chunks. So we're going to separate it like this. And what this will do is it will allow us to preload the chunks, making sure that it's all loaded in when it actually does generate. And then we can just, because this is an additional um, or generation condition, it'll run before the structure basically generates. So that should work. And then what we can do is we can just save it. And it should, should have, uh, wait, hold on a sec. We need to actually specify a true statement. So we'll just go down here, return true. And then it should show up in the list. Okay, let's just check. Yep, there it is, okay. And then what we need to do is, uh, after it does generate in, what we wanna do is actually make sure that the chunks are unloaded. So again, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to chunk and we're gonna set chunk. And then what we want to do is go ahead and set the variable and we're going to get the location. So get that location and then we want to unload the chunk. So we're going to just set this to false and we have to make sure that the same coordinates are all set up. So plus 16 on this axis and then we'll do the other one. And then we will do just Z. So what this will do is it'll make sure that each chunk that it generates in, because it's 32 by 32, right? So it's um, exactly four chunks that it should generate in technically. Uh, if it doesn't generate in that amount of space, then what it needs to do, what you'll need to do is create like a extra buffer around the actual thing and load that in. So what I'm going to do is just basically try this and see if this works. Um, if not, then uh, you would have to basically uh, probably do another uh, like a three by three or three by four air or four by four area around the actual thing. But in most cases, this should work. Um, We'll, we'll find out. So we want, want to make sure that it's all set to false. That's good. And then we'll set that there. Uh, for the structure, I'll just set the biome again to planes. Set this to 25,000. And uh, yeah, we could have random generation on. That should be fine. If not, then like if these structure is generated it might be rotated outside of the loaded chunk so you might not want this particular thing checked if you want to do that to like have rotation then you might want to kind of have the structure rotated by uh, by commands and then you basically load it in as separate structures but I'll uncheck this just to be on the safe side and all the other settings should be fine. So actually one last thing that we do need to do is spawn in our top structure. So what we're gonna do is just quickly go in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, go to world and we need to find the block for spawn structure. Should be roughly at the top of the list right here. Nope, that's, um, yeah, place and then the structure thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that before we unload the chunks. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to spawn the top one and then we're going to increase the Y by 32, I think 32 should be fine. 
So one, two, three, yeah, it should be 32. Hopefully that's the right distance. If not, it's probably 33. So 32 should be correct. And then we don't want to have the rotation or anything like that. And then we're just gonna set that and it should be good to go. So we'll just save this and we'll test out the actual thing. So just start up the world and we'll go into a new world and then we'll kind of find a plains biome. Uh, we'll try one of the seeds that I have. Uh, there's a plains biome that you do generate in. Uh, sometimes you can find structures and stuff in it that you make with Emcreator, but it depends on the probability of it as well. So um, might not generate in that one, but we can give it a shot. So we'll start a new world, create a new world. Uh, we'll go into creative. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set, uh, let's make sure structures are enabled, set our seed to that so we can find the planes biome. Done, that's all good. Create world. And hopefully everything will generate properly. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. So it does look like it's going to run into the generation errors. So what we need to do is fix that. We'll try running a command for, um, okay, we have to get out of that. So we'll just stop the process. So what's happening there is when you see those dots show up on the thing, that means structures were nearby, but, um, there was something going on with the rendering and stuff like that. So there's another alternative way that we can actually load the chunks. Go to Minecraft Wiki and then go to Commands. Uh, there is a command for loading chunks. We can try that one. So I think it's a uh, force load. So it should be under force load so constantly load chunks I'm not sure if this will actually generate the thing but we can give it a shot I'm not as familiar with this command as the other one um, force add from to so I think it's can't ever remember if it's the current location that you're in so it's it has some notes down here so chunks between zero and zero. So we should be able to get, uh, should be able to use the relative coordinates, hopefully, and then offset that by a certain number. So this will generate uh, two by three chunks which does make sense. Okay, so try something like this. And if that doesn't work, then what we need to do is um, make sure that it doesn't load around where spawn loads. So we'll try to remove this. Uh, we'll use commands for world and then we'll paste this in. And then we're gonna use the relative coordinates and then we're gonna use uh, relative coordinates again and that should load in our current chunk. I think that's, yeah, add, and then the curly thing. So one, two, three, four. And we don't need the actual slash for this. We just need force load. And then we'll try uh, that location. And actually we should probably we could probably run it just from one command, couldn't we? So we want to do, um, let's see, 32 is one chunk. So 32, 32, and that should run it from the relative location of where it generates to the relative location on the opposite corner. And probably remove all this. I know this works for things in other dimensions with chunks unloaded, so hopefully this will work as well. I'm not sure if that will actually work, but then we have to basically remove it. So we're gonna save that and then go into this one. 
We're just going to delete all this. And we're going to pop open that. Run this command. And what is the command for unloading? Remove. So we want to remove. And we're going to use the same coordinates as it's basically generating. Uh, when it starts, it's going to be at the access point of the structure, so that should work. All right, so that should be fine. Um, if, again, if this doesn't work, then we'll have to make sure that the structure doesn't spawn anywhere near the spawn coordinates. Uh, that will be a little bit more tricky to do, but it should be possible to do if we use conditions. Um, We'll have to create like a distance if it's not within a certain period of distance from spawn, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so let's start up that. We'll delete this. We know that it will generate around spawn somewhere. And we'll create a new one. Just leave that there. And then we'll go ahead and go to more options, 10, 10, 10, and done. Create new world. So let's just see if this helps. Hoping that it will. So far, so good. Okay, it loaded. That's good. And seems like we only have half of our structure in, but it is generate the entire thing which is good yeah this is loading in nice um, still need to figure out the top structure though let's just go between some of these other ones and we'll see if uh, it's all loading in properly so yeah that looks like it's loading in yeah that's good so I guess you could use force load as well uh, for generating it. Now the only other thing that we need to figure out is why the top isn't spawning. Now the top should be spawning. Um, not sure why it isn't so we'll have to figure something out on that. Might need to run it from a block like we did before. Oh hold on uh, what's going on here? That seemed like it loaded in after. Let's check some of the other structures. Okay, that one's fine. Just go around some of these other ones and just check to see if there's any issues with generation. Okay, there looks like the, the train kind of went through here. I think that has to do with the size not being fully loaded so we might want to increase the size now when it is loading in it should be going from the corner over here so 32 blocks that way but it might have not been fully at the full size that we needed so what I'm going to do instead is increase that size and then what we can do yes this happened because we don't have the um, the structure generated close to this one. It does sound like there's pillagers spawning in here though. That's good. Good, good. So the spawner works. Um, yeah, so it generated close uh, to the other one and this one cut that one off. That's normal. That's not generation um, cutting at all so that's fine uh, we do need to figure out the top so let's go back into here now we're getting a little bit late on time so I'm gonna just quickly try something and then we'll have to wrap things up for today we might do another video on fixing some other stuff up but um, close out of that and then what we need to do now that isn't running properly so what we're going to do is we're going to just increase this by 40 this should give it enough space to actually generate and we'll do the same for loading the chunks as well so 40 actually we should probably do 48 just to be on the safe side 
and we'll do 48 on this one as well. Okay, so now it should be generating that, but um, this doesn't run for some reason. So we're going to have to probably next episode go ahead and um, create a block that when the structure is generated, it will actually I wonder if um, I can run it from here. Yeah, let's try that. Let's uh, try running it from this procedure instead. We'll run it at the same coordinates, but increase the Y level to plus 32. And hopefully this will work. Quickly try this and then we'll see if the uh, structures that we basically spawned in last uh, in the same location are fixed. Um, there's a few of them, so it might take a little bit of time to find them. But we'll click, quickly check this out, and then if not, then what we'll have to do is um, try some extra stuff in the next episode. But I just wanted to make sure that this is, we try a little bit, at least one more thing. So go ahead here, creative, and then we'll go ahead and go to world, 10, 10, and 10. Done. That's good. Create. Just waiting to make sure that it loads properly. Looks like it's loading good. Okay, now do we have the top parts? No, we don't. Still no top parts. Okay, so we'll have to run it from a block uh, update tick in the next up episode. But let's go ahead and just quickly go around, check some of this. Yeah, it looks like... It's still generating some of the blocks in here. I think that's just regular gener like uh, train generation. There's not much that you can do for that, but it does seem like the entities are generating. So let's just go up this tower and we'll see if there's how many of the things are spawning. Our villagers didn't spawn in either. We forgot to save them, uh, save entities. So there was a little bit of things down there. Uh, yeah, so it's... I don't know. Uh, you'll just have to kind of make do with the strain that does generate in. Like, this obviously um, was generated, uh, I think... I think this generated uh, properly. Looks like it tried to force load the chunks there and then it just decided not to. Chunk manager usually works uh, with making sure the chunks are loaded but this doesn't seem like it was working at all so um, I'm not sure if there's enough time for it to load in or what but um, alternatively what we can do is we can use chunk manager but what we'll need to do is we'll need to make sure that it doesn't spawn anywhere near spawn, which is kind of the unfortunate part. But um, spawns like really big, like all these structures in this area pretty much are within spawn range. So we're going to have to like do it like outside of a long distance away. So that's the only downside of it. But um, yeah, if we want to make sure that it, doesn't spawn in the ground then that's kind of what we have to do but outside of that uh if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out